six wide like your door. It's as big as my doorway. Oh my gosh. Okay, and then he'll come in three days. Because right, I want to borrow, I want to make sure that I borrow my, I want to borrow my granny's ashes so they can be here when the check comes, just so I can be holding my granny with me when the check comes. Not her problem, sweetheart. So, how, how will they make the check out? Well, when we get here... And we have the check and the, and the car gave to you. We are going to escort you down to your bank so you could have the check cash and have the money deposited in your account very safely. So they also could know the check is coming from our company here and it's one hand of pressure and double to make check here, all right? Okay. All right, at this time, you're all going to have my batch number written down on the paper. My batch number is 8904. Okay. Why do I need your batch? That's like a police badge number. Huh? That's like a police badge number. My my uncle, he's, he's a policeman and he has a badge number that's like that. Well, remember, I'm working with your company here, sir. Okay. You're going to have my badge number and the initial of my name. J stands for John and M stands for Miller. Okay. Mr. John Miller, you're my prince. Okay. And you're, are All you right, coming yourself? It. Are you coming to my house? Are you coming to my house? Yes, what we going to do now, remember, I'm not the only person going to be here. The deliver guys, they are going to be here, what the IRS guys show. You put out the paperwork sign, what the IRS guys also. So within 30 days time, you're going to pay the taxes that the IRS guys, they have required on you, okay? Oh my goodness, well how much do you think the IRS guys are going to charge? I do not know, sweetheart. Same way I tell you, pay your bills, all right? But I don't pay my bills because I I don't really have a job. Okay, well, it's only a chill in the ocean of what you're going to be receiving, what the IRS guys are going to be acquiring from you, all right? Do you know their names? Because you, do they have like badge numbers or anything? When they get their sweetheart. Okay. Remember, I cannot put the IRS part. They have to do that part. Right, they right. They have to take the paperwork here. On your have the paperwork being signed by the IRS, okay? Okay. Okay, at this time, just to make sure you have everything correctly on the paper, and you do not make any mistake for security purpose. I'm going to ask you to read up the information started with my name. Okay. You are Mr. Prince John Miller, because you're my prince. Because you are from the Publishers Clearinghouse, and I won, and I love that I won. And your badge number is 8904. And I wrote down there's a three day processing and there's a package code. And this is my package code slash confirmation code. And that's 172509. And I wrote down government men, IRS and Wells Fargo. And you have the large sum of money and the car. Eight million dollars and a and a white Mercedes Benz with black and red stripes. Okay. All right. Sign your name on the paper. Sign your name. Sign my name on my. On, but this is just my note paper. 
You just told me to take notes. Why am I signing my name on my note paper? Sign your name on the paper. You're going to take up the paper. Sign your name. You are not going to let the paper get wet or get lost. Oh, I won't let it get wet or get lost. I just have written all over it. There's not really any room for me to sign. Should I sign on another paper? It's not a problem. Okay, so sign on an... Sign your name, sign your name. And I'm going to ask you, are you a true believer in Publish or Clearing House? Are you fully interested to claim the package? Well, I mean, I didn't think I had to claim it. You were just going to come to my house with a big check that's as big as my doorway, right? That's correct. And the car, too. But I heard those Mercedes Benz are just really expensive to fix. Do you know anything about fixing cars? Well, you're this one is your new one, sweetheart. Oh. You're the first person that you can drive on this one here. It's not likely taking a second out car up your house. Okay. It's taking a new car. Okay. Okay. Well, how are you gonna find oh, my yeah, house? This Friday, but I'm supposed to work on Friday. What time you're going to be home on Friday? I, I don't, I like, I don't know, six o'clock, six thirty, because I drive right, a long well, way remember, to. Well, well, remember, on well, Friday it's your big day. Friday you guys are going to be smiling down to your gang. Are going to be a happy rich lady show. Maybe you have to stay home on Friday to claim the package. So should I quit right. my should I quit my job tomorrow? I'm not going to tell you to quit your job, sweetheart. But you can stay home on Friday to claim the package. Well, if I stay home on Friday, they're going to fire me. Okay. All right, not a problem. The cars are mad. So I should quit my job. It's your choice. Well, I don't know what to do because what if you're late? Well, remember now, based on how the traffic stay after road, I'm not going to tell you I'm going to get here by 12, and I get here by 1 now. Based on how the traffic stay after road. Okay. We are going to we are going to try to leave very early on the morning so we can get here. Well, where are you at? All right, you're from here, Jamaica, and you are. You're for, you're all the way in Jamaica. Really are. Oh, but you said Jamaica. Jamaica, but New York and Jamaica are not the same place. It's New York, Jamaica, 101 Winter Circle. But you can go down the internet down the site and look it up sooner. But Jamaica is is in the Caribbean, and New York is a state. No, you're no, you could go down the internet down the site. That's what I'm trying to do. But I'm on the phone with you. How can I go on the internet at the same time? That's just too much to do. I'm going to ask you one question. Are you going to be interested? Or are you just trying to waste your company time? Well, how am I wasting company time? I, I'm giving you all the stuff. 
I've, I've written everything down. I've signed on a blank page. I don't know what else I'm supposed to do. I just was confused about Jamaica and New York, which are not the same place. It's the same name, Jamaica, New York, 101 Winter Circle. Wrote it down on the paper, so when you're finished, you can go down the internet. Okay, I'll go on the internet when we're finished. All right, at this time, I have our government released in farm. It's your government P19 released in farm. Supposed to be filled in on for you, so I'm going to be asking you a couple of that question. Okay. I hope I know the answers. First I've never question. been good at quizzes. Uh, right, first question Are you an American citizen by Mark or by birth? Um, well, I'm not married, but I was born here. But okay. not in Jamaica. Do you live in your own home or apartment? Uh, I don't, neither one. I don't live in my own home or an apartment. I live with my uncle. Okay, do you self-employed or retired? I'm not self-employed or retired. I just, like I have my job I'm supposed to go to because like I have to go to my job. And what type of job you are doing at this time? So at this time, like I have to go to this place where I put stuff in boxes all day long. Like I just have to pack boxes. I'm a box packer because that's what the only job I could do. Okay. Do you have your state ID or driver license? No, my uncle takes me to my job because I'm not supposed to drive. Okay. Do you have any credit or any debit card? No, because I, so I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not, like, I'm not a very smart person. I do my best. But all I can do is pack boxes that my uncle takes care of everything. Okay. All right, you know, as I know you, as your growing American citizen in the United States, once you have one yourself over a million dollars, the IRS guys and the state government, they always acquire any taxes, right? They require a tax scribe? Remember, as your growing American citizen in the United States, the IRS guys and the state government, they are the one always require their taxes. Right, right. But I don't really pay taxes because I'm disabled. Okay, well, at this time, only thing you have to just to get yourself register with the delivery guys. Okay, register with the delivery guys. Okay. Are they going to call me? All right, then. All right. You have to go to, like, your Dollar General, your Walgreens, the CVS, or in Piggy Wiggy to get yourself registered. You have to obtain your claimer's card, okay? I have to obtain a, a flavors card? What's a flavors That's card? Correct. Where is a piggy winky? All what right. is that? All right. Do you familiar with the Dollar General? I do know Dollar General. Are to Walgreens? Um, well, I really only go to the Dollar General because that's like close to me. The Walgreens is a lot further, so I had to wait for my uncle to drive me there, so I don't really go there that often. All right, so but sometimes when I have a prescription. Dollar General is close by. The Dollar General is close by, right? Yeah, I guess so. I can usually get there. 
Like sometimes I ride my bike All right, there. Get jump. All right, get jumped into right. Now they to be giving you the name of your claimer's card. You suppose you got in your hand. What's a claimer's card? They'll have it at the it's Dollar General. One, it's one final gift card. A gift card. One vanilla gift card. What's a five hundred dollar? What's a vanilla gift card? What is your claimer's receipt? I will. I'm the one going to be explained to you, so you could understand. What time you're now, Molly, going to work in the morning? Um, uh, when my uncle takes me. What time? In the morning. It just depends on when he gets up, but sometimes it's like 7.30, sometimes he doesn't want to leave until like 7.35, but sometimes he's a little right, slower well, and it's like 7.45. But right, if we well, leave by 8, I'm going to be late. And I have to pack well, the boxes. Right. You're at the FedEx or post office. Um, I don't know, cause I, he takes me to work, so I don't know if, like, I don't know where those are. I know where the Dollar General is, because that's where I sometimes I mean, go to get the ice I mean, cream. where are you, where are you working? You work at the FedEx or in post office? No, no, I work at, like, a, a place where I pack boxes. Like, there's just stuff that goes in the boxes, like bottles. And other like well, plastic the, stuff goes in the boxes and I just put the stuff in the boxes and I put the tape on the boxes and it goes down the line. It's kind of fun and satisfying when the stuff goes in the boxes because they get all full and sometimes there's like the, have you ever seen those like little peanut things? They're called packing peanuts. They're white and they get in the box and it just fills the box all up. Sometimes there's pink ones too. I really like the pink ones because they're pretty. I sometimes will put a pink one in my pocket and take it home with me, but don't tell them because I could get fired. And occasionally I did try to eat one of them once, but it didn't taste good. I thought it would taste like circus peanuts. Have you ever had circus peanuts? Circus peanuts are really good. They taste like banana-y and they're soft and mushy, but the pink ones don't really taste like circus peanuts. They don't, they're, you shouldn't eat those. So if you ever look at the pink ones, don't eat them. Okay, Mr. John? Okay. So I have, I don't know what a vanilla gift card is. I'm going to explain to you, well, to be honest with the company here at this time, how much money you have in your own television for yourself. Well, I don't, I don't have any money, but I'm going to win the publisher's clearinghouse, so I'll have money on Friday when you come with a big check. Okay, well, remember the card of the Dollar General is not far free. You have to update. But I don't have five hundred dollars. But I will on Friday. Can I just get it on Friday when we go to the bank with the big check for eight million dollars? You have to get it done before we get here, so we can have everything being processed. I don't. I don't have five hundred dollars though. How much? How much your team do you could raise? I mean. I, I sometimes have five dollars, five dollars for lunch some days because sometimes the hot dog truck comes to the work place where I am and I can get a hot dog for lunch and, and some chips too. So my uncle will give me five dollars for a hot dog and some chips. 
but that person only comes on Thursdays and Tuesdays. So the rest of the week I have to bring my lunch and sometimes I bring peanut butter and jelly and sometimes I bring some other things. But I, I, I just get the $5, but I like to have that hot dog. So do they pay your by weeks or by two weeks? So uh, my uncle takes care of all of that because I'm not really good with money. How old is your uncle? Um, I don't know. He's kind of old. Like, he's got wrinkles and gray hair. <laughs> Do they pay my taxes? Well, I don't have to pay taxes. I'm asking if they pay your back to backs. If they pay my back to backs? What is that? I'm asking if they pay you if, when you're back to back stuff for. Oh, when I'm boxing up this stuff, if they paid me, imagine if they paid me. Well, I mean, my uncle takes care of it. I don't really, I, I, I get a check, I guess, but he takes care of all of that for me because I live with him and he takes care of all of the stuff because I live with him and he takes care of me. So he, like all my stuff, he takes care of and it goes in his account, but then he gives me $5 on Tuesdays and Thursdays so that I can get a hot dog and some chips because I like to get that lunch when the hot dog truck comes to the work. And he also sometimes will give me $5 allowance and I will ride my bike sometimes down to the Dollar General and get ice cream. Do you have a dog? I love dogs. What kind of dog do you have? This is a small one we have here. A small one? Like what kind? I have a sheep. I have a sheep. I have a sheep. A sheep dog. Have you ever heard of a sheep poo dog? Pardon? A sheep poo. It's like a, a, a combination dog. You know, like a poodle and a sheep dog. A yeah, sheep poo. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah, it's a small, shoddy one, right? Um, I mean, he's kind of smallish, but he's, he's definitely shaggy. Your dogs sound like they're angry. We have the German and we have the pit bull. A pit bull? I'm scared of the pit bulls because they have the big jaw. And we have the rock sliders. You sound tired, Mr. John. Are you tired? Well, remember, I'm working on the But then you should go home to your family. That's sad. Your family misses you. So you have dogs at work? Yeah, sure. Well, my, I'm kind of, I'm gonna get in trouble, Mr. John, because I'm up past my bedtime. Because my uncle likes me to go to bed at 10, 52 and it's now 10 53 and if he catches me that I'm up late because he like I'm in my room right now so he doesn't know I'm on the phone but if he catches me I'm going to be in trouble because I I'm supposed to go to bed because I've got to get up for work tomorrow so I'll see you on Friday right 
What time should I come to you tomorrow? Well, I have to work tomorrow morning. If I get calls at work, I'll get in trouble. I'll see you on Friday. But I'll see you on Friday, right? You'll come on Friday? Bye, Mr. John. You're the best. You're the best. You're my prince.